Jarvis, when did you know the Titans uh, liked you, and did you suspect that you might land here? Um, I knew the Titans. They loved me when I went on my visit. You know, um, you know, it was a great visit. Um, you know, man, I know the GM is from Florida. He's from Miami, so we kind of had that connect. And when I just came in, you know, um, it just felt like home. You know, um, I had great talks and great commu communicated great with the coaches, and I kind of knew if the coach didn't get me, I kind of knew the Titans was coming. So I always had a feeling that I'd be a Titan. How do you, would you describe your style of play and how do you think you fit in here? Um, I see aggressiveness, you know, toughness. Um, and I just, they come, you know, I'm a team player. So for me, um, it's just, you know, about being that guy, you know, wherever my coaches and teammates need me to be, um, I'm willing to be that guy to, in order to help us win games and get us to a Super Bowl. That versatility you bring, especially like bouncing inside and playing the nickel, how do you see your skill set filling that role uh, for a team like the Titans? Um, I think it'd be great. You know, um, we, you know, they got a, they got a, um, a great guy, you know, that they just signed, Azaria Schneed, um, a great vet. And, um, that was one of the guys that I look up to getting my knowledge from, you know, just gaining so I can have that experience and get all the knowledge I need in order to, to become a great player that he is. But, um, I also think it'll help as well just because, um, I'm willing to step up to the challenge. What started clicking for you when you got to Louisville after the transfer? Um, honestly, I think for me, it was just about the little things, you know, um, making sure, you know, that I had the right mindset, you know, um, I had a positive attitude. And for me, I really just, just focused on the little things. And um, I knew once I did all the little things right, um, everything else would fall in place. And for me, um, I just took the big road and just holding myself accountable, um, holding the guys around me accountable. But um, just stepping up to that standard to where I'm being a leader, you know, I'm, I'm leading by example, you know, I'm being vocal as well. So it was the transition was great for me. Um, it was something that I needed. You know, um, I went through a lot at Florida State, a lot of adversity I faced. And um, I was so emotional back then when I was young. So when I did make the transition, um, I think it changed me and helped me a lot. You know, um, I was more mature. You know, I had grown. Um, I had developed that young man mindset. And for me, it was just um, doing whatever I knew I had to do in order to have the production that I wanted in my career. Jarvis, can you talk a little bit about, you know, you, you mentioned that um, emotion that you sort of struggle with at Florida State. Can you kind of expand on that a little bit in, in, in how you matured in, in ways that helped you when you got to Louisville? Um, you know, um, when I got to Florida State, man, I was emotional. You know, um, I was coming from Miami. Um, I was losing a lot of friends at home, you know, to gun violence and car accidents. Um, you know, my mom stuff was still hard at home, so I was getting calls from her. And, you know, I was young. I was um, 17 when I got to college. Um, I was at my dream school, and, and I was playing. So, for me, I felt like it was just a lot on my plate, you know, a lot of pressure. And for me, I'll say it was, a, it was bad timing. And it was a lot of things that used to get said to me to help me, to help me go into the great position that I supposed to be going in. And for me, around that time, I was taking it in a bad way as in they was attacking me. So for me, um, I felt like it was bad timing. And me, I'm very self-aware. So um, I knew once I – it got to that point where I felt like I needed to leave in order to – start over or just find out what I really want to do at the game. Um I knew the things that I had to do. And um, you know, I, I always had the confidence. So for me, um it was just the little things like I said, man. And I think that helped me a long way. How much did you talk about inside versus outside uh once you get on the field here? Um I love corners, but I also love nickel. <laughs> so it's kind of tough, but um, I actually have been enjoying nickel. You know, um, I I, I started at it in my twenty twenty year at Florida State, but um, once I I was at Louisville, you know, um, since I think since I had more football IQ and I was more experienced in the game, it was way more funner, you know, um, and I just 
I just like being a guy that can be in charge. You know, um, setting the defense, communicating, um, making sure the back, the back side, we all on the same page, and um, that's how you have fun, man. As a defense, you know, we all move as one unit and we all move together. But for me, honestly, I'll say I would love to play both nickel and corner. But if I had to choose where I only had to play one position, I'll say nickel. You know, um, I love hitting, I love tackling, and I think it's I think it's more challenging on the inside because receivers have a two way go, and then you get to show your skill set on all linemen, man. So <laughs> there, there have been some guys who have said. By the way, I um, hope you're doing well. There have been some guys who have said the going through the portal experience has helped them learn how to become a professional. Would you mm -hmm. say that's your experience? If so, how? Um, i say it was a good experience because it showed you the business side of the game and um how the politics work and things like that. And um, it also show you, you know, control what you can control. Um, you know, in the league, it's not on you. You know, um, college, you got NIL. You know, it's all about the money right now and how much you paying the kid. But in the league, man, it's it's not on you no more. You know, um, you can't choose, pick and choose what team you want to play for just because this and that reason. So for me, um, I think it's a bit heads up on just being able to control what you control and um, you know, stay stay in it. You know, um, and for me, I think that's it. I think the main thing is control what you control. You, you've been on the move since this Zoom call started. You, you're pretty hyped and uh, a lot of pent up emotions there. Um, I'm hyped. I'm anxious. Um, kind of upset. But for me, um, I think I'm just I'm just ready to go. You know, um, it's a dream come true. It's a blessing. But for me, man, I think I'm I'm just so anxious to. Show the world what Jarvis Brownie could do. You know, um, like I said earlier to folks that have asked me, um, I always felt like I was doubted, even to this day. So for me, um, it's just another step ahead for me of just proving the world what Jarvis Brownie could do. Um, like I told people before, I do feel like I'm one of the top corners in the draft, and for me, and that's just for me to show the world, and I'm just ready to do that. So you you talk about being upset. That's that's where you're upset is you felt like maybe you should have gone sooner. Yes, sir. No doubt. No doubt. Um, you no, know, I, I, I don't block a lot of guys' blessings. Um, I'm happy for some of those guys, but um, for me, um, I feel like I, I should have went earlier. Um, you know, feel like a lot of guys that did go before me. Um, you know, they ain't they ain't put in the work that I did, or they ain't go through this process how I had to go through it. But you know, um, God work in mysterious ways, man. So I'm just ready to get to work in the world what Jarvis Brownlee is made of. What room are you in today? Say it again. What room are you in that you're walking around in? I'm actually in my mom room. <laughs> <laughs> Got my mother right here. All right. <laughs> she she's pretty fired up. Yeah she she emotional happy. Did you go? Did you go against Will Levis at all while uh, you were at Louisville and he was at Kentucky? And if so, uh, yes. how did that work out? Um, coming into that game, man, we knew Will was a great player. Um, I actually I didn't know he was that good until I stepped out on the field with him. But um, Will is great, man. You know, um, he got the confidence. Um, to me, I feel like he's a dog. Um, I got I got to hit him once, and um, he's. <laughs> He's pretty heavy, so <laughs> it's time to hurt me a little hitting him. But um, I'm ready to work with him, man. I know um he's he's gained a lot of lives since he's been on a big level, and um I'm just hoping that we could take this thing to a level that we wanted to go, and that's to the playoffs, and hopefully we get to fight for a Super Bowl. How much time have any have you spent in Nashville? Um, Nashville, I I think I was I was only there for a day. And it was pretty cool. Um, that was my first time being in Nashville, and it's it's a pretty big city. Um, busy, and for me, um, the city looked great, man. You know, it, it reminded me of home, and the coaches and everybody there just 
the love was there, you know, um, the bonds was there, the relationships was there, and I couldn't want to be nowhere else.